Hey guys, Dorian here, joined by Ashley as always. Hello, hello. So today we are going to talk about the common projects Achilles, Achilles sneakers. sneakers. Um, so there are definitely items that you should 100% splurge on, save up and splurge on them. And then there are items out there that you can definitely save money on and I highly recommend you do. And I'm pretty honest, I think throughout all of the videos that we've ever published, what you should splurge on and what you should save on. Yep. So I thought this would be a great series um, because we just still keep getting asked questions about certain items. Yep. Um, so yeah, let's just get into it. If you have suggestions of what we should talk about whether it's worth it or not, definitely hit us up in the comments below. We use your feedback as this video is evidence to create new content specifically for you guys. So let us know. All right, Ash, so let's get into it a little bit. I wanna know, tell us, tell the audience, tell myself as well, what makes them so good exactly? Why are these right. so lauded? in the white shoe business. Yes. Well, <laughs> there the there is a reason and it's because they have such a clean design to them. It, it is like incredible. It makes me so happy when I look at these because it has a very slim silhouette. The design all around is super, super clean and classic. It is like the perfect the perfect white sneaker. There are no labels whatsoever around any of the shoe, uh, around um, the entire shoe. The only little bit of, I'll call it embellishment um, design is in, it's actually on the side of the sneaker and it's a uh, gold foil stamped and it's three columns of numbers. And the first column represents the style of the sneaker. The second column represents the shoe size in European size. And okay. then the All third right. column represents the color number. So there actually <laughs> is something to it. I literally yeah. just thought it was like a bunch of random numbers. Not a bunch of random numbers. Good there is know. a reason, um, but it's also just a cool little feature yeah. on the sneaker, but that's the only kind of branding, I guess you could yeah. say, that is featured on the sneaker. You're pretty, you're pretty big against yes. logos, branding, yeah. advertising, et cetera. Yeah. So it's, a, it's made out of beautiful white leather, um, a white rubber sole as well. And the, the tongue of the sneaker has no label at all. The only label is the, in the inside, but it's just like a great sneaker overall. It's comfortable as well, yeah. I've worn them. They're, they're very comfortable. And I have to say, it is so difficult to find items that are just designed simply and classically and timelessly. So it's, it's really great when you actually find something that fits all of that. And it's like, yeah. oh my God, that's the perfect white sneaker. That's the perfect t-shirt. And I, when I was looking up some of this stuff, I saw that the resale value of used versions of these is very high. Like for yeah. shoes, I'm a little weirded out. It's like some guy's been wearing them and they're almost the same price as new. There's a little bit off, yeah. but I was so, kind of shocked by that. So, and, and that's what part of the appeal of the, the sneaker is that they, they wear so beautifully. It actually, it's like a pair of jeans. The more you wear them, the more you start breaking into them. So any kind of creasing or a little bit of dirt stain or a little, any kind of wear and tear on the sneaker actually adds like a beautiful touch okay. to your sneaker so and to like, your entire outfit. Like in the watch world, it gets like a patina. Exactly. It gets a little, it, it's almost kind of preferable in some cases. 100%. Okay. So we've talked about the good things about these sneakers. Now, what are the bad things? What are the downsides? What should the audience consider if they're considering yeah. getting these? So the downside, and I would say there's only one downside that is pretty major, and that is the price point. So these sneakers are just a little bit more than 400 US dollars. Yep. Um, that's really expensive. I mean, as far as the luxury sneaker world is concerned, I would say that these are the best, by far the best. However, they're really, really, really expensive for a pair of white sneakers. Um, as far as how these shoes compare to others, other white sneakers, we'll just say, um, these really have no peers, I think. No. They're really, they're, they're like the top dog. Like it is pretty much these and everybody else. Obviously, a lot of brands would have you think the opposite, but 
that's unfortunately just not true for them. Um, so you can't really compare them because they are kind of in a class of their own. White sneakers is a very large group, <laughs> but the best white sneaker is this in yeah. regard to design, comfortability, wearable, wearability, all that kind of stuff. And then obviously you have the price. But I think what it really comes down to, Ash, the ultimate question, the reason you're watching this video. But before we do that, Oh yes, if you've been enjoying this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel for more videos like this, and hit that bell icon to be notified every time we upload a video. So, question, gun to head, are the Common Project's Achilles low top sneakers worth it? Compared to what is out there and the more inexpensive options, I do not think the Common Projects are worth it. Um, if for the for the common man, anyways, for the average man out there, if you're shopping like at a J Crew level, maybe a little more expensive than that, these the 400 plus price tag is really steep and I think that you can get a good enough option with other brands. For um, about a fourth of the cost. Yeah, for, for a fraction, yeah. uh, literally a yeah. fraction of the cost. And we have actually we did a whole video about our favorite white sneakers, which we'll list in the description below. Now, I'm gonna say there's another part to this answer. If you are, if you shop in the luxury market if that's for you and, if, and and your budget allows for it if you have the means i think is the long way to say yeah. that the short way do i think these sneakers are worth it 100 percent. i think they're completely worth it the design is beautiful there is no competition no one that touches this sneaker closely so i think that they are 100 percent worth it if you can swing it if that's if that's your kind of buying bracket then definitely or if you really care about design and you're a stickler yeah. for design yeah. and you can take some time and save up then it's worth it to you as well so ash i think i think that's it i think Yay. hopefully we answered that for you guys hopefully you got some good information out of this this woman touches hundreds of pairs of shoes <laughs> every single week you don't even want to see her office it's no. stacked to the ceiling with shoes all day long so when it comes to her opinion on this stuff she's the first place i go to i'm like hey what do you think about these she's like mm. or amazing get them and uh she's always right so trust the wreck yep i wouldn't buy them for you i'm sorry as much as i love them hey. i wouldn't buy it for him <laughs> hey come on all right i bought them for myself all right thanks all so right, much guys. for watching we'll see you in the next one bye bye